Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. We're now looking at finding A, B, and A, sorry, B, D, and A, D using method of sections. So, the way method of sections works is you look at your problem. We're looking for members B, D, and A, D. So B, D, and A, D. And what you do is you literally just come and take a cut through your section. So the cut would look something like this. You would come through like that. And you would cut through it and you would want to find the axial loads from the cut, okay? Now, method of sections utilizes three equations. You can have, so you have equilibrium of the cut members, and you can have some of the forces in the x direction, some of the forces in the y directions, and some of the moment about a point, they all equal zero. So you have three equations for method of sections. Now, when you take the cut, you need to be, you, you, if you start somewhere, you need to finish somewhere and cut through all those members. So if I'm starting at the top, I have to cut, say if I want to go through member DF and BC, I can cut through there, through there, through there, through there. You can't just skip members and stuff. You have to cut through them all, okay? So if I were to take my cut, I'm taking a cut through there because I want to be able to cut through BD and AD. So BD and AD, that'll allow me to cut like this. I'll also have BC in here though as well. So we want to first find uh, BD, so BD being this component there. Now, we don't know AD, we don't know BC, but we do know 170, so we're going to first project BD onto the y-axis, and it will just be an equation with BD. So we're going to have some of the forces in the y-direction, taking up as positive, equaling 0. So we have 70 plus 70 minus 100 minus BD cos theta, we project it onto the y-axis, so it's cos theta, and we know from the previous video, theta was...